We are happy that you have chosen a hand bike or power assist device from Stryker. Thank you for your trust. In this video, we show you step by step how you can easily set up our hand bikes or power assist devices, adjust them to your individual requirements, and adapt them to a wheelchair. The following models can be set up with the help of these instructions. All manual hand bikes, City, Sport, Ultra, Lomo 360. Hybrid hand bikes, Neo Drives, Lipo Smart, Smart Wild. And power assist devices, Lipo Lomo, Micro, Pico, and Crossbike. Our adaptive bikes have to be fitted to the wheelchair once. After that, they can be coupled and uncoupled very easily and quickly. For the adjustments to your wheelchair, you need the supplied 6mm Allen key or a 6mm Allen socket spanner with ratchet. All screws used in the video have a torque setting of 30 newton meters. Thanks to our universal clamps as well as the adjustable frame, almost all wheelchairs are supported. We will do the fine adjustments later. First, we roughly adjust the frame width to your wheelchair seat width. To do this, open the two frame screws on the corner brackets to change the frame width. Then open the two screws on the longitudinal tubes to change their inclination and length. Now you can fix the hand bike or power assist device to the wheelchair. Open the automatic catch to be able to tilt the clamp. Loosely fix the clamps to the wheelchair and now straighten the frame. If the frame or the side arms cannot be moved, either the first clamp is screwed on too tightly or the frame screws are not fully open. When the frame is aligned, tighten the clamps and the screws. The automatic catch mechanism ensures that the wheelchair wheels lift off the ground and determines the ground clearance of the frame. To change the height of the front wheels, we adjust the automatic catch. The height can be adjusted by loosening the screws on the automatic catch and moving the carriage. The greater the distance of the slide, the higher the ground clearance and the rearward tilt of the wheelchair will be. The optimum height of the front wheels is between 0.75 inches to 2.75 inches and depends on the quality of the road service as well as the area of use. When adjusting, make sure that the automatic catch is deactivated and that the front wheels of the wheelchair are on the ground. To activate the automatic catch, press on the cover and push it upwards until it locks into place. Repeat this on the other side. Now lean back a little in the wheelchair and push the hand bike on the grab handle or the power assist device on the handlebars upwards until you hear a clicking sound. If you have a power assist device with reverse gear in front of you, you can use it to bring the bike into the driving position. To do this, lock both parking brakes on your wheelchair and activate the reverse gear on your power assist device. Now slowly and carefully turn the throttle until you hear the click. To bring the wheelchair wheels back to the ground, click lightly on the cover of the automatic ratchet and push it back a little. Repeat this on the other side. Now get back into a slight supine position and push upwards on the handlebar or grab bar until you hear a click. Now let the hand cycle or power assist device sink to the ground. If the hand bike or power assist device is too close to the rider so that the handlebars hit the body when steering, the inclination of the fork should be changed. To do this, deactivate the automatic catch and lower the wheelchair wheels to the ground. Then loosen the two rear frame screws. Now change the inclination until you have found the right position. Finally, tighten the screws again. This adjustment affects the floor distance that was set by the automatic catch mechanism. This may have to be corrected. If the unit is too far away from the rider, the frame can now be shortened. Make sure that the arms are still slightly bent at the maximum crank distance. The back should be leaning against the wheelchair. 
The pivot point of the cranks should be at shoulder height. Crank backwards a few times to test. The settings shown can also be done in exactly the same way with a power assist device. Also make sure the angle of the fork is not too steep. To shorten the frame, first lower the front wheels of the wheelchair back to the ground. Now open the two frame screws and loosen the clamps on the wheelchair a little. You may also have to loosen the clamps completely from the wheelchair. Now you can push the tubes into the longitudinal tubes or pull them out. Then tighten the screws again. By adjusting the frame individually, the Handbiker Power Assist device can be brought into an optimal position and adapted to a new wheelchair if necessary. To check whether the bike is adjusted symmetrically, you can now measure the Handbike or Power Assist device in all directions. Next, adjust the kickstand so that the reconnection process after uncoupling the wheelchair is as comfortable as possible. To do this, the front wheels of the wheelchair must be on the ground. First, open the two screws on the kickstand joint and place the stands parallel to each other. Adjust the length of the stand. When using the kickstands with roller balls, make sure that only the ball is on the ground and not the frame. If necessary, change the inclination and tighten the screws. To remove a kickstand, shorten its length. Press the button on the back of the stand and pull it out and downwards. Use the positioning clamps supplied and fit them under the clamps on the wheelchair frame. During the coupling process, the hand bike can simply be placed on the positioning clamps and is then always at the same height. To adjust the striker bike luggage carrier, Open the frame screws on the corner brackets. Slide the luggage carrier into the holders and align them. Now fix the holders with the frame bolts again. Now you are able to couple your handbike or power assist device to your wheelchair in a few simple movements. Now nothing stands in the way of your ride. Increase your riding fun even more with versatile and practical original striker accessories.